Hey, I'm Sophie Villaluenga, and in our research methods class, we ran a couple studies to find stuff out. So basically, the point the point of kind of both the studies was like what effects or relationship social media use has on the psychological well-being of those who use it. So for that, we included positive emotion, negative emotion, and life satisfaction as our kind of things we were measuring. And we looked at passive and active social media use, which would be um, passive social media use would be kind of just scrolling, not really interacting with anyone else. And then active would be posting, commenting, liking, just all that social media stuff that you do. So for our first study, we had a correlational approach to discover the relationships between social media use and emotions and well-being. So um, we... The question was, how does active and passive social media use relate to positive affect, negative affect, and life satisfaction? So as a little research team, we posted the Qualtrics survey on our social media use, or we sent it out through email, like via the snowball method, and 455 people voluntarily gave up their time to take the survey, and they were asked how many hours they use social media use on average, uh, questions about their general life satisfaction, and um, how they're feeling at the moment of taking the <laughs> survey. And we found a negative correlation between life satisfaction and passive social media use and a positive cor correlation between active social media use and positive emotion. So then we were like, hey man, let's expand. So we ran study two, which was more of an experimental approach. And ver instead of looking at um, relationships, we looked at more causal stuff. So we, and then we narrowed it down to focus on gender differences. So our research questions were, does social media use interact with gender to affect psychological well-being and how gender interacts with social media use? So we sent out another Qualtrics survey and participants were offered three random categories, which would be um, no social media use, passive and active. And they were, they had like, were given details on what each meant and which social media they could use. And then if you were assigned the active or the passive social media use category, you um, were asked to go and use it for five minutes and then come back and kind of take whatever survey. So they were asked general questions again about act, about life satisfaction, well-being, or they were given if they were in the no social media use. Yeah, they, they um, were given kind of trivia-like questions. So um, when we had 130 participants do that voluntarily again, and we um, ran a two by three between subjects ANOVA. And we found that females in the active social media use condition reported more negative emotion and males in active social media use reported more positive emotion. So that was kind of interesting to see kind of the juxtaposition of the genders and the social media use, how the social media use affected them. So uh, both of these studies were super interesting in my opinion. I think social media use is a huge topic of interest right now. And, um, it definitely affects everyone, no matter what, no matter how many social media accounts they have, just it's everywhere and you literally can't escape it. So both of these studies contributed to the growing literature we have on this and how, like our better understanding of how they affect our long-term feelings and who we are. And